Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding in this video I want to discuss about the basics of cache memory why the cache memory is required what is the cache hit ratio what is the hit latency what is the miss latency what is the tag directory all these things we will discuss now let me discuss why we need a cache memory okay we have a cpu and we have the main memory okay we have the cpu and we have the main memory now everyone know that the speed of the cpu is greater than the the speed of the main memory now if we does not have any memory or a faster memory between the cpu and main memory then what will happen the speed of the cpu will fall to the speed of the main memory because whenever any instruction the cpu want to execute it has to fetch that instruction from the main memory so it is depending on the main memory speed so automatically the cpu speed will fall to the speed of the main memory then the solution for it is people have found one solution they have found is registers okay now what is the problem with the registers the see registers are faster as compared to the main memory everyone will agree but what is the problem with the register we can store very less amount of information if it is a 16 bit registers we can store 16 bits of information if it is a 32 bit register we can store 32 bit and if it is a 64 bit register we can store 64 bit of information and the problem another problem with the registers are they are very high cost per bit okay they are cost as compared to the main memory because in terms of per bit cost if I talk then uh, registers are costly as compared to the main memory so one problem is that less storage space and another one is costly then people have gone for the cache memory now the cache memory when compared to the registers and cache memory the memory or the space in the cache memory is more as compared to the registers so the space of the cache memory is more as compared to the registers whereas the speed the speed of cache memory is less as compared to the registers but however the speed of main memory is less as compared to the cache memory as compared to the register so this when it comes to the speed the cache memory will be in between the main memory speed is less than the cache memory the cache memory speed is less than the registers and coming to the cost the cost of the cache memory is less as compared to the may registers so that's why we have gone for the cache memory okay the cache memory will act in between the cpu and the main memory then how it will be executed now let's take that i am searching for a, some element okay how the pro working process will be done suppose if a cpu want to fetch some instruction okay or it is searching for an instruction for cpu will search it in the cache memory we will neglect the registers automatically it will search it but the searching time in the registers is less so that's why i'm not talking about the register concept here okay the cpu will first search for the cache memory if it is available whatever the element the cpu is searching if it is available in the cache memory then we will call it as a hit or we can call it as a cache hit or simply a hit then it will fetch and it will execute that instruction if whatever the instruction it want to fetch if it is searching if it is not available are you able to understand if it is available it will execute okay it will fetch it and it will execute it if the whatever the instruction if it is searching if it is not available then we will call it as cache miss okay if it is not available then it will try to fetch from the main memory if it is available then it will bring to the cache memory then cpu will execute it are you able to understand if cpu whatever it is searching if it is available in the cache memory 
it will directly fetch it and execute it. If it is not available, we will call it as a cache miss and it will try to find it from the main memory. If it is not available, then we will talk about the paging concept, page miss, all these things and it will fetch from the secondary memory. This secondary memory to main memory we are not talking, we will talk in the operating system course with the help of paging all these things. In this cache memory concepts or in the computer organization, we will talk in terms of main memory and the cache memory. So if element is not there in the cache memory, we will call it as a cache miss and we will try to find it from the main memory. If it is not available, then main memory will try to fetch it from the secondary memory. Here we will call it as a page miss. Now we have another two terminologies called as hit latency and miss latency. Let me discuss about what is hit latency. What is meant by latency? It's the delay. Am I right? It is in terms of time. So what is the hit latency is the time taken for the CPU to find whether the element is there. If an element is there, see whatever the instruction it is searching, if it is there in the cache memory, it will take some time to search it whether it is, is there or not. Okay. So if it is hit latency, if the item is available in the cache memory or the instruction is available in the cache memory, the time taken for to identify it is, we will call it as a hit latency. Now, what is miss latency? The, what are the instruction the CPU is trying to search? If it is not available in the cache memory, then we will call it as a miss latency. Then what will happen? The cache memory will search it in the main memory. And then if it is available in the main memory, then it will fetch it to the cache memory. Then it will keep it into the CPU for performing the instruction. Are you able to understand some hit latency is if the item is available or not. If it is if an instruction is available, then we will fetch it and the CPU will execute the instruction. Miss latency is if the instruction is not available in the cache memory, then what will happen? It will search it in the main memory and find it out and then it will the CPU will execute it. Now people will ask why the any instruction if it is not there in the cache memory, if it is there in the main memory, why should we keep it in the cache memory? Why can't we directly execute in the CPU without storing it in the cache memory? Those things we will call it as in terms of the spatial locality and temporal locality. Okay. We will talk in terms of locality of reference. Locality of reference. We have two types of locality of references. We have spatial locality of reference and temporal locality of reference. We have two types of references, spatial locality of reference and temporal locality of reference. What is the spatial locality of reference and what is the temporal locality of reference we will discuss. Now first let me discuss what is a spatial locality of reference. Now a CPU is there, okay, the cache memory is there and we have a main memory. Remember one thing, the smallest unit in the memory, we will call it as a word. Okay. And the main memory is divided in terms of a blocks. Main memory is logically divided into a blocks and cache memory is divided into lines. The size of a line and the block is equal. Okay. The size of the line and the block is equal. What is meant by a block? Block is a collection of words. Block is a collection of words. Now CPU is searching for a word. Is it clear? CPU is searching for a word. Let's take that it is there in this line. Then we will call it, it is a hit and we will bring that word into the CPU and we will execute it. Now if it is not there in the main memory, sorry, it is not there in the cache memory. If it is not there, then we will call it as a cache miss. Then we will try to search it in the 
main memory whether the particular word is available in the main memory or not if it is available if it is not available in the cache memory if it is available in the main memory we will call it as a cache miss and we will bring the entire block or we will bring the only single word are you able to understand you are searching for a word whether the word is there in the cache memory it is okay if it is not there in the cache memory and it is there in the main memory then you can have a doubt whether I should bring only one word or I should bring the entire block. You should bring the entire block into the and keep it into the cache memory. Why you should do? If you are executing a word, there is a chance that next word also may be executed and it is there in the same block. Are you able to understand? If you are executing a word and you are searching the CPU says executing a particular word and it is trying to find it in the cache memory if it is not there then we will if it is available in the main memory we will bring the entire block why we should bring it is if you are executing a particular word and it is a next word let's take that it is in the address 100 and it is there in the one or two address then there is a chance that you may execute the next word which is there in the one or two so again instead of searching in the main memory better bring the entire block and keep it into the one of the cache memory line if it is anywhere free if it is not free we will discuss about the replacement technique if it is free we will keep it somewhere and where we should keep we will discuss in the mapping techniques don't worry so right now you think that if it is free we will keep it in one of the line so that concept we will call it as a spatial locality of reference if you need a word you will not bring the single word only from the main memory you will bring the entire block and temporary locality of reference is remember the thing now you can ask me why should i keep it in the cache memory why should i directly execute in the cpu why instead of keeping it in the cache memory that one we will talk in terms of temporal locality of reference let's take that you are executing a for loop okay that for loop you want to execute for n number of times what are the instructions are there they are there in the particular block okay in the main memory so you need to bring it in the cache memory because the, the same set of instructions will be executed for n number of times if it is not there in the cache memory if it is there in the main memory first time when you if you does not bring it every time you have to search it from the main memory only am i right if these instructions are there in the main memory and it is not there in the cache memory cpu will search for those instructions if it is not available in the cache memory we will call it as a miss and we will try to identify in the main memory if it is available in the main memory so let's say that we are not bringing into the cache memory then what will happen every time first time it is searching bringing it from the main memory next time also again miss will happen again it will execute from the main memory so instead of doing avoiding this keep on accessing the main memory if we bring that block and keep it in one of the line on the cache memory then cpu can directly first time it will be a miss from next time onwards it will be a hit only are you able to understand first time if it is not there in the cache memory then obviously it is a miss if it is bringing from the main memory to the cache memory next time onwards next time that whatever the instruction n number n minus one times you will have a hit are you able to understand if you are executing for n number of times first time you will have a miss remaining n minus one times you will have the hit okay so then your hit ratio will increase what is the hit ratio hit ratio can be defined as number of hits by total reference or the number of reference or i can say that number of hits plus number of misses or i can say that it is number of references okay out of the number of references how many times the cache hit occurred by number of hits plus number of cache misses so this is what the hit ratio will be so if because of the temporal locality of concept the hit ratio will increase so i hope you have understood what is the spatial locality of reference and what is the temporal locality of reference the spatial locality of reference handled by 
bring, instead of bringing a single word, if you bring the entire block and keep it in the cache memory, that spatial locality reference will be handled. Temporal locality of references, instead of keeping into the main memory and executing by the CPU, if you bring it into the cache memory next time, and if you are executing, then the temporal locality of reference will be handled. So, spatial locality of reference will talk in terms of space. Temporal locality of reference will talk in terms of the time. Next time it is required. Least recently executed instruction may be required again. Are you able to understand? So, this is about the locality of reference. Now, let me discuss another important thing is a tag. We will talk about a tag. What is the need of the tag? We are talking about that a CPU is fetching and it means checking for an instruction in the cache memory. If it is available, it is done. But how it will search whether the instruction or a particular word is available in the cache memory. Are you able to understand? We are saying that cache memory, sorry, CPU is there and cache memory is there. We are telling that CPU want to execute some word it is searching whether the word is available in a particular line or not. Am I right? The CPU will be divided line number 0, line number 1, line number 2. This is the way the cache memory is divided. Am I right or wrong? Because cache memory is consists of a collection of lines. Okay. Now, how the CPU will identify whether the particular word is there in the line number 0, line number 1, line number 2 or whether it is there or not. If it is there, we will say that it is a hit. If it is not there, we will say that it is a miss. It will be done with the help of a tag. If the particular element or the particular word it is searching, if it is matching with the tag, then we will say that the particular word is available in the cache memory. And in this particular line, it is available. If it is matching with this tag, then we will say that it is available in this particular line and we will say that it is a hit. If it is not matching with any one of the tags, then we will say that it is a miss. So tag is useful for us to identify whether the particular word is available in the cache memory or not. Okay. Are you able to understand how this tag will be useful? Like with numerical examples, we will discuss. Don't worry. So I hope you have understood why the cache memory is required and what is the basics related to the cache memory like hit hit latency, cache miss, cache miss latency and then we have discussed about the tag. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment session. I will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.